friends welcome back to the automation revolution in this video we will learn about plc2 plc communication uh, using uh, put and get communication block so as you can see uh, we have taken uh, two s7 1200 plc in siemens uh, ta portal software and uh, you can take any plc 1200 and 300 you can take 1500 but here we have uh, both the plc same uh, 1200 1 to 1 4 c ac dc relay so here we will uh, make bi-directional communication between uh, two plc so first uh, after selecting this plc we will go for uh, device configuration and from the device configuration here we are getting uh, one option and downside protection so we need to enable the protection uh, for making uh, port gate communication uh, between two plc so uh, here you can see uh, this check uh, checkbox uh, was by default uh, disabled but then uh, you have to uh, enable this checkbox and after that uh, we will go for uh, system and clock memory and here you need to enable uh, clock memory and that will use uh, for enable in uh, gate put communication now uh, this uh, settings you need to do for both the plc and second plc also we will do uh, for uh, production enable and system and clock memory you can see in second plc we have enabled that clock memory as well as we will enable this production for the both the plc we will uh, do uh, this settings and after that from the first plc we will go for the main ob so in first plc uh, we want to send the data so in that plc we will use put instruction and uh, in second plc from where uh, we went to, we want to store the data or, or we want to receive the data in that plc we will uh, use get block so if you want to uh, make bi-directional communication for both the plc so in both the plc we will uh, use put and get uh, communication block so this block you will uh, get from here uh, catalog so here one option is communication and from the communication here we have option uh, get and put so from there uh, we will just drag and drop this block now uh, we just take a put block here in the first network of this uh, first plc and then uh, we will see detailed parameter so just press f1 so here we are getting uh, help menu so here we are getting different parameter declaration and data type as well as discretion okay so this first bit is about request so when this bit will be uh, positive uh, triggering uh, so that time the data will be exchanged uh, from the vlc and uh, this is the addressing parameter for sp uh, specifying the connector uh, connecting partner to cpu this will be done bit when uh, we are getting zero that time uh, the job is not completed or still executing and for one we are getting uh, job executed without error in error we are getting uh, two types of code 0 and 1 and accordingly we are getting uh, status in uh, plc so you can see here downside we have the error list and as per the status uh, uh, we can get this malfunction so this explanation is given already here so as per the error and status code uh, we will get uh, what type of problem is coming in the plc and what is the communication related problems and we can rectify uh, then from the error and status code now in uh, while uh, we will see select this put block so first we will click on this button and we will configure this block so downside we will get hard uh, properties of this block and first we will uh, select partner plc so here uh, second plc we will add and you can check this both ip address must be different so then only other uh, then and only uh, we can make a communication between two plc with ethernet or profi net communication here connection id is 100 so it will uh, reflect here uh, by default and first in request uh, we will give here any clock memory so i have used m0.0 10 hertz you can give any uh, clock memory here this will be uh, the id so that will refl reflect by default and uh, this will be address and send address so now uh, we will click on this button and we will go for the property downside here getting block parameter so just click on this block parameter 
and here uh, we are getting bright area and uh, sand area so here right area uh, we will assign uh, output addressing so uh, from q0.0 this bit will be started uh, to store the data and uh, maximum length you can give uh, you can give from uh, 1 to 10 length maximum capacity of that cpu uh, byte so here we will select the byte and maximum 10 byte we can send the data uh, and uh, this plc can store from q0.0 to maximum 10 byte and then second thing is uh, send the data so here uh, we will start sending uh, from the addressing i0.0 up to maximum length 10 byte so this uh, this type we will uh, give addressing here so it will uh, reflect automatically in this block this will be this side uh, this done error and status uh, will be the code for uh, troubleshooting and diagnosis if error will come so some we are getting some bit here uh, status code here so you can give any uh, memory bit or memory word here if, if you don't want to give that addressing you can uh, keep as it is and uh, now we will go for the second plc and uh, here uh, we will take get block so once again we will go for this uh, sn communication and, and we will select get block same like this put we will select connection partner here and uh, we will select the plc now uh, we will go for the block parameter and uh, here read area the read area will be i0.0 because uh, from the first plc we are sending the data and that will be uh, put uh, put instructions so from put we are sending the data i0.0 up to maximum 10 length and the byte and uh, now we will uh, go for a read area so here uh, downside we will get read ad addressing So this will be read area and uh, you can see here q0.0 is the read area so from i0.0 uh, the addressing will read up to q0.0 this will be starting bit and uh, from uh, it will take 10 byte maximum so once we will give uh, the addressing it will take automatically here and uh, there is no need to give here uh, this error and status code this is only for reference or for any indications if you want to store uh, if you want to show in uh, SCADA or HMI uh, screen so that time we are using that error status code so uh, now uh, this uh, if you want to both the direction uh, communication so we will get uh, we will uh, keep here put and gate block in both the PLC so same like uh, here we have get and uh, once I have taken put block here and, and uh, first PLC also will uh, use put and get so from this put get we will uh, send the data from i0.0 and second PLC will receive the data uh, starting from q0.0 you can also uh, write here memory addressing if you want to store the data in any memory location so you can give m0.0 and that is story, uh, storage capacity of that memory now we will uh, download this program and the, both the PLC so it will take some time and then we will see in hardware so now we have successfully downloaded and after downloading this uh, program we will actually see in uh, hardware how we can uh, get uh, we can get the data from the first plc and the, from the second plc how we can make a communication between two plc so now you can see we have two seven seven uh, 1200 plc so now uh, this plc we have connected with uh, this uh, profinet cable so this will be profinet or industry ethernet and uh, we will send the data from this first plc so i will just give input so you can see in second plc we are getting out now uh, from the second plc i will send the data 
So you can see in first we will see we are getting output. Now I will send data. You can see here we are getting uh, output in second PLC uh, from the partner PLC we are sending the data. So in first PLC we are getting output. So this will be the PLC to PLC communication uh, between two PLC uh, with using Profinet or industrial uh, Ethernet cable. Thank you very much for watching the video.